Melanie and uh, hi Melanie. Hi. How are you? Good. Thanks for having us. Call it anytime. Let me turn. Feedback. 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 Okay. All right. We're good. Okay. Anytime. Uh, where are you guys from? I'm from Manchester. Manchester and uh, Sunny, her uh, musical partner. How are you, Sunny? I'm very good. Thanks for having us too. Well, uh, anytime. And. Uh, I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee, that's yeah. right, Tennessee. Nashville? I grew up in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, but I also lived in Chattanooga. That's where I actually started playing music. Chattanooga, there's a river there, the Chattanooga River, right? No, it's the Tennessee River. Oh, Tennessee right. River, yeah, yeah, I know, they changed the name of it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Chattanooga, is that like in the middle, or is that like... It's on the uh, southeast border southeast. of Tennessee, where uh, right. it's right on the border of uh, Georgia, and Alabama's not too far away also. So. Yeah. Yeah. How far is that from Knoxville? Uh, Knoxville is about 100 miles from Chattanooga, yeah. and uh, I grew up about 20 miles west of Knoxville in Oak oh, Ridge, yeah. Yeah, my, I had an uncle that was a preacher in Knoxville. Yeah, yeah he uh, had a little church there, and he preached, and he, uh, matter of fact, he took me to Glenn Campbell's house, drove past it, hey Glenn, and also Dolly Parton wasn't too far away from Knoxville, her house. She had a house you know, close by, so that was uh, awesome for me, but anyway. Knoxville is a it was a, like a hotbed of uh, musical uh, uh, East Tennessee actually was uh, Chet Atkins is right from very close from there Dolly Parton yes and a lot of musical artists I think the Emily Brothers were from Kentucky but they actually played in Tennessee quite a bit and uh, a lot of stuff happened there. College Town right Knoxville is a college town University of Tennessee yeah, exactly yes and it's a very nice town too a very uh, lovely town the mountains are beautiful there I love it. Yeah. I'd love to go back. I've never been to Nashville. I want to go to Nashville. Have you been to Nashville, Melanie? No, but I went to Memphis. Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah. I went to Memphis. Yeah, with my friend when cool. I was 17. I hadn't even driven on the parkway yet. We were like, yeah, let's go to Graceland. <laughs> let's go visit Elvis. This is from my uh, my father-in-law, my ex-father-in-law. He uh, brought this back. You know, it's a little paperweight from Memphis, from uh, Graceland. I've never been to Graceland either. Oh, so that's cool. going to be one. I've never been to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame either. So. Me either. I want to go. Uh, what kind of radio guy am I, right? Never been to these places. But anyway, you sounded good. I love your CD. I got your yeah. CD. Your mom sent me your CD. <laughs> and it's dynamite. Uh, got a lot of great response from uh, the listeners here. And um, tell me how long you've been doing this. Um, well, I started playing when I was a senior in high school, so I've been playing for six years now, and we've been in a duo for two years, almost. So. Oh, two years, okay, yeah. that's cool. Mm -hmm. And you write your own music, right? Yeah. Do you mm -hmm. collaborate with Sunny on your music, or you just, you know... Sunny and my mom, actually. I, I write a lot of lyrics with my mom. Your mom, too? Yeah. Wow. She can't sing or play or anything, but she oh, can write but She can write, right? Yeah. She can think of those words. Right? Yeah, oh, she's so clever. So a lot of times she gets the idea for a song, and I can then run with it. So is her, her name on that song here, Me and Mom? You know? Mommy and Me. Yeah, Mommy and Me. The copyright <laughs> Mommy and Me. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, Sunny writes a lot of the music, too. So. Cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very good, Sunny. Tell us a little about you, Sunny. Uh, you come, you have a pretty cool resume. Yeah, uh, I grew up in Tennessee when I was, um, I guess, about 19 years old in Chattanooga. I was, uh, I got, I got, I, fortunately, I walked right into one of the best bands in the in the area, and I was a drummer in those days. And uh, they hired me to play drums one Saturday night. But uh, I, I somehow weaseled my way into playing guitar, which I played a little guitar too. And I started playing. I switched instruments shortly thereafter. And our band was very popular in the area, and uh, we managed to land a production contract with Muscle Shell Sound. The name of the band was Virgin Wool, and uh, at that time, uh, they, Muscle Shoals was was backing up Aretha Franklin, uh, Wilson Pickett, all kinds of big soul artists, but um, they were looking to expand in their own productions, and they had uh, they signed our band. And they also signed the band Leonard Skinner. They actually produced them a, a record that was never sold to any record companies. We didn't. Skinner did, uh, was with them for a little over a year or a year, two years maybe, and we were too. And at the same time, uh, we were dropped from our production contract. Leonard Skinner was dropped from theirs, and Skinner moved to Atlanta. My band moved to Atlanta too. I lived in Atlanta for two years before I came to New Jersey to join the, a band that was uh, very popular up here. Or, or, or a couple years later, it was very popular. It wasn't too popular when I joined. But um, 
the name of the band was Southern Cross, and I came up here to, to join them in New Jersey, and I've never come back after that, and the opportunities were... Do you know I have some show. of those songs, too, from Southern Cross? Oh. I, I played them on the air, too. I didn't know that. That's really cool, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I love the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, Southern rock music, I guess, Leonard Skinner and, you know, Southern Cross, and I love that sound. It's pretty cool. It's a good sound. It's different, you know, it's... It really is. It was, it was homegrown. I call it homegrown. You know, it was it was really good. I was speaking to one of our old fans last night, and he said that uh, they just it was it was seemed genuine and authentic the way we played it. And exactly. I, I think that's what we went for. We went for the feel to be right, and uh, we became very successful. Uh, with my nine-year run with the band, we had a mailing list of ten thousand people. Uh, our postage fee for ten thousand people was was. Three four thousand dollars a month. You can imagine how nice it is to, be, to have the internet just to send out these schedules. Yeah, exactly. But um, it was incredible. We played to Long Island, uh, Westchester, New York. We oh, did it uh, mostly the tri-state tri area, a little bit in Pennsylvania. But uh, we became uh, very popular, and that was a great run. I'm very proud of what we did with Southern Cross. Yeah, very good. It's very good. And like I said, you guys had a good sound, and. Uh, Melanie, uh, you guys want to do a song? You guys want to? No? Yes. Yeah, sure. Yes. We're trying to do a song. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, the Red Bull's you, kicking in, so. You can tell everybody the name of the song you're going to be doing, and um, I'm going to turn it over to you. All right? Well, I feel like rapping. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to do a song called Hero Complex. One, two, three. Thank you. 
awesome, awesome, awesome. I want to tell everybody that uh, the, the show is being videotaped, and we'll be putting it on uh, uh, Facebook, also uh, on the website, also on my website, okay. at uh, NewJerseyCool98.com, and I uh, want to thank uh, Cindy for uh, coming and uh, doing this. Thank you, Cindy. And um, your mom's here too, right? She Can is. we say your name? Yeah, sure. Marie. Marie, yeah, she's my taking mom, videos also, <laughs> and she's taking the best side of me to the back of my head, so. <laughs> anyway, uh, that was very good. I like that little rap there. That Thank is you. very good. Thanks. Very yeah. good. I was ready to get up and... <laughs> Some people do. <laughs> now, now, you wrote that song by yourself? I wrote that with my mom. Your mom. Your yeah. mom is the hip-hop artist, huh? Well, I wrote the rap. <laughs> she didn't write the rap. Oh, she didn't write the rap No, but part, she helped right? me with, like, like sometimes I, I um, like, the Holy Biceps Batman. Yeah. I didn't even know that that was a Batman reference. So tell me, what is, yeah. I mean, how long does it take, well, how, uh, anywhere it could take anywhere from uh, uh, probably 30 minutes to, it all depends on your uh, uh, mood at yeah. the time and what mm -hmm. you're thinking about, right? Um, I had a, an artist here that, that dreamt of a song, got up and wrote it when she woke up and did something. I just dreamt about a guitar part in a song I'm writing now. Really? Yeah, something I actually right. remembered it. I never remember my dreams, wow. but yeah. Walk, talk, and dream music. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Marie dreams these ideas a lot of times. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. She wakes up in the middle of the night and says, Boom, Sonny, I just had a, <laughs> get up with that guitar. <laughs> she says that among other things, too. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So you guys go down the lake a lot? You know, I know where you live. You guys, uh, you know, get to sit on one of those benches and... We have pictures of us sitting on those benches. Yeah, uh, I've seen a couple of them, yeah. yeah we, so, um, we live right in the lake, one of the lakes. Yes. And, uh, it's really nice. It's, yeah, it is nice back liquid. there, yeah. It's nice. Yeah, so uh, you're working on another CD as we speak? Or? We are. I think we just came up with the title, too. I don't want to say it, though, because it might change. Oh, uh, <laughs> the benches? <Good. laughs> no. She's got an idea for... Uh, theme for the whole, yeah. all the songs that we tied it together, which is very cool. That's cool. And uh, one of the things I like about Melody's songs, one of my, uh, I'm, a, I'm a teacher, music teacher too, one of my students is actually a teacher at Brookdale College, and uh, he pointed out something that I hadn't realized about Melody's songs, that almost every one of her songs, the first two or three lines of the song tells you what the whole song is about. Very cool. And that yeah. is very cool, I think it is, and I, I'm really proud of the, the lyrical content of of these songs, and I really think uh, it's, it's it's a lot better than a lot of stuff that's out there right now. Oh, it is. It's really good stuff because you listen to the song and you say you don't have to say, "Oh, what the hell is she talking about?" or "What the heck is she t you know singing about?" Because everything is like, you know, you understand what she's saying, and that's what's good about it. You know. I really think there's also a really positive and wholesome. I don't want to. That's probably a horrible word to use for some people, but not it, for it, me. it is. It's yeah. not for me either. Yeah. And um, uh, when we play our live shows, we have families that stay and watch us. And I've heard from more, more than a few times that this is the first time we've ever been out with our children to eat somewhere, and they don't want to go home. Right. Uh, they're they are really entertained, and the little girls stand in front of Melanie. Are totally amazed that here's a girl rocking on the guitar. And it's, it makes me feel like Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> you rock. Yeah. We have a gentleman uh, on Facebook right now. His name is Tommy Esposito. Lives in Oakland, New Jersey. He played in a band called The Good Rats, and uh, he says you're awesome. You know, oh, awesome you. sound thing. You know, that's cool. Especially when you get it from another peer. You know, you know, one of your peers. You know. I played many yeah. shows with The Good Rats. I in Southern really? Cross. Yes. Sonny yeah, knows Tommy, <laughs> you hear that, buddy? <laughs> yeah. Peppy, we used to we used to play the same circuit. We'd be in, we'd be checking into motels in the Long Island. We used to stay at the River yeah, exactly, River yeah. Riverhead Holiday Inn, and there'd be uh, the Good Rats and uh, sometimes Rat Race Choir. A lot of rats yeah, out there. Yeah, rats out there, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the sister. We'd all be staying in the same places. Exactly. As a matter of fact, I think they just did. They just like got back together and did something in BB Kings or something. You know, not too long ago this year or something. Yeah, they're, they're together. They had a reunion. Yeah, but not him. He he uh, he's he's not with them anymore. But I think he came back with them for that one time and they did something at BB Kings. So, you been to BB Kings yet? I have. I saw Sean Colvin there. Oh yeah. She was my dad. Yeah. Cool, right? And um. Uh, Earl Scruggs and oh. something. 
No. Bye. Earl Scruggs? No, is that not a name? <laughs> I don't know. No, that's a name, that's but name? that's okay. uh, Earl Scruggs. Damn. Oh, and what, do you remember? Who did I no. see? I have no idea. There are big red people. I don't, I don't remember their names. Earl Scruggs. He was with. He had a. He had another partner. I think didn't he? And they Lester Flat. Yeah, Lester Flat. They yeah. did uh, the Beverly Hillbillies, right? The that's, theme for the Beverly right. Hillbillies. That's yeah. right. Earl Scruggs is the. Um, everybody oh. tries to sound like Earl Scruggs on the exactly. banjo. Just about. He's the. He was the. He set the tone for or the, or the level, the bar for everything. Like, exactly. Yeah, he, was, he was good. He was real good. Yeah. yeah. I remember those uh, Beverly Hillbilly days. And cool. Very cool. So, uh, what do you guys got planned for the future? I know you guys are playing around the, the shore here. Yeah, we have like 20 something gigs this month. We're just trying Mom to. Mom books them, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. She's a good promoter. I think she is right amazing. Yes. She is amazing. I'm going to get her to promote me. <laughs> you may have to take a ticket because uh, there's a lot of people asking her right now. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, uh, she's she's really good. She is. I know. She is. I, I think I think we're gonna we're gonna write some more songs, come out with another CD. But uh, we also have plans tentatively right now for uh, last year we did a Christmas CD. I think we're gonna do another one. We're gonna add some more songs to it and um, like we put it up on the internet and also. Yeah. Uh, this month I'm shooting a, a video for Cupid, my song. Oh, yeah. Um, some guy I went to high school with and another friend has a uh, production company. I think it's called Basement Stairs Productions. And um, and we're going to film a video. So that should be out sometime in September. Don't you just love this? You know, the indie artist, you don't have to go to record companies yeah. and you don't have to, you know, uh, you could do this yourself. Yeah, right? and we're Come helping each yourself. other out. You know, we're exactly, each that's other good. At the same time. Yeah. You know, it's Absolutely. a lot different, right, than... Everybody just dreamed of having the record contract when exactly. I first started this, and nowadays it's almost it can it can hold you back uh, at times. I've been told, but we're proceeding at a nice rate right now, and I have the, the highest hopes for this. This is uh, I want to get Melanie to. All you got to do is keep plugging, you know, right. keep plugging. There's more outlets now for for the indie artist than there was back then because you were at the mercy of record labels, you know, you couldn't even go to the radio stations anymore, you know, back then, you know, it was hard, you know, it was really, really, you know, big corporate America owned all that stuff. Not saying anything bad about corporate America, you know, but, you know, I mean, there's a lot of great artists out there. So. It's, it's never been a better time to be an independent never. artist than now. No, uh, never. That's what we consider ourselves. I don't know if you mentioned this, but we recorded the whole CD in his living room. And he produced it all from there. Very too. cool. Yeah, so. Very cool. In the living room, right? That's right. In the living room. That's, that's when we did the drum tracks, the ducks were uh, all crowded around the window. It was really nice. We, they must have something with a bass drum or something. Uh. Like <laughs> <laughs> we don't know what that's all about, but it, yeah, uh, they were exactly. certainly there. That, <laughs> that's cool. See, that was in the living room, too, right? This yeah. is cool. Literally, we're in the living room, right? Yeah. You can tell everybody there's curtains, there's a couch, there's uh, there's even a cat that walks around sometimes, right? So, <laughs> anyway, you guys want to do another one live? Love to. All right. Which one do you want to do this one? Um, talking to Mouse. Talking to Mouse. Okay. Yeah. Talking to Mouse. All right. Once again, Melanie and Sunny. I'm 
Sunny for 30 years. <laughs> Hi, Patty. <laughs> Marie just gave uh, Sunny the evil eye. <laughs> That's cool. Hi, right. right, Patty. <laughs> but anyway, that was very good. I like that. that. That's very good. Thanks. We play oh. some Carol King songs live, and she uh, really gets great response. Oh, yeah, I love Carol King. Oh, she's, oh, she's awesome, right? Yeah. Totally awesome. Oh, yeah. So you, you both, you guys play both cover and uh, original. You guys yeah. play your cover. We do. I, I, we do some really amazing cover songs. Uh, we 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 play some really really awesome private uh, concert, private parties for yeah. people. And uh, many times uh, we ask if they'd like us to learn a song for the private party. And lately, we've added several songs to our song list. Uh, one of the ones that comes to mind is a, an old. It's actually a Leon Russell song. But uh, it's made famous most by the by the Carpenters in the song Superstar, oh, okay, and we yeah. play that song. Every eye is on her. It's just it's, it's amazing, and people reflect back what they were doing when they heard that song for the first time. And it was the song was also used in the movie Tommy Boy. Has come to our attention, <laughs> and it, it was kind of a comic uh, uh, situation that they were in, and these guys are crying their eyes out. So we get the young people crying out of comedy. Uh, from a comedy point of view, and we get the older people uh, remembering what they were doing with their moms and dads, and, and when this song came out, it's, it's really a sweet moment for us, and and uh, it really connects with the audience. And uh, awesome, awesome. And it really shows off Melanie's voice too. She's got this beautiful uh, classic old style voice. I always tell you know 
uh, young artists that are just getting into the business that do their own stuff, you know, original stuff. I said, you got to do covers. You have to, you know, it's like uh, the, the, they're not ready for, you know, like totally original stuff. But you got to remember, even covers were original. You know, they're original. Somebody wrote them, somebody sang them. And uh, a lot of the groups, many groups that were big hits are cover groups. You know, a lot of groups, they didn't write their own stuff. The Beatles are a cover group. They play a lot of covered stuff. Right. Are. The Grateful Dead. The uh, Grateful Dead. Grand Funk Railroad. They made their whole <laughs> career out of uh, redoing uh, or playing their own versions of uh, classic songs. Exactly. And, uh, a great song is a great song. A great know. song is a great song, no matter who wrote it. And if you're lucky to have a hit with it, with your style of doing it, that's pretty cool. You know, that is very cool. So there's nothing wrong with being, you know, a lot of people will say, band will say cover. I don't do cover, you know. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you like the Beatles? Yes. Well, they did cover, you know, so. We do a lot of Beatles in our sets, too. Exactly. We, uh, Beatles, five or six songs Beatles are awesome. Yeah. So how old are you? I'm almost 24. I'm oh, wow. 24. So I guess you weren't around when the Beatles first came, right? <laughs> yeah. No, you weren't. Yeah. So, but that's good that she has an open ear for a lot of the music, you know. Actually, a lot of our set list, I've only heard Sonny sing like some of the songs. Like, I haven't heard the original. Really? So, yeah, I'm learning a lot. <laughs> I know, because Sonny was singing Amy before, and, yeah. you know, and uh, along with the song playing it. It was very good, you know. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, played that song a few thousand times. Uh, Long yeah. away. You sure you didn't do that with Little Prayer? You sure you, <laughs> you did that pretty good. Well, I've met a couple of the guys along the way, uh, yeah. but we never really did a show with that, with uh, Pure Prairie League. Yeah. I, when I was in Southern Cross, we opened for every major Southern Rock act. and uh, The Eagles? Was, we never did the Eagles, oh, no. Okay. <laughs> but, um, no, I can't think. The Eagles, we never did any shows with, but we did like all the... Uh, like Leonard Skinner, Marshall Tucker, the Allman Brothers. Uh, we played shows, got the jam with Dickie Betts one time. Uh, it was really, yeah. really cool. Awesome. And uh, Molly Hatchet, the Outlaws. I did lots of, a lot of shows with the Outlaws, probably more with them than anybody else. Yeah, I have their, uh, I play their stuff too. They're good too. I love the Southern Rock bands. They're awesome. Totally awesome. Marshall Tucker, like, forget about it. You know, oh, yeah. they're awesome. So, um, I know it's your time to shine, but you know, this oh, is no. weird. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't get to talk music much like this, you know, only when I'm doing the show and, you know, somebody like you comes along and, then, you know, you think about all those great bands like Marshall Tucker, Grateful Dead and stuff like that, that I grew up, you know, Woodstock and after. So, good, good tunes, good tunes. Um, matter of fact, speaking of Marshall Tucker, um, I got a little service announcement. I got to say here that on, um, you don't mind a little commercial that, uh, that, uh, let's see. Well, I'm going to the gamblers are going to be playing the show. Yes, right exactly. Are right, you tell them, tell them when it's going to be. Uh, all right, that's the only details I'm going to I have right, several uh, friends. Next, next Wednesday, August the 15th, Surf Club in Arley Beach, New Jersey. Marshall Tucker Band is going to be there live. Uh, an opening up for them at Slim Chance and the Gamblers. A great band. Yeah. Great band. Awesome band. A great yeah. Jersey Shore band. And uh, that's going to be a great time. So get your tickets. Uh, you can get them uh, through Ticketmaster or call up the Surf Club and uh, or anybody that's on the show, uh, anybody from Slim Chance and the Gamblers, they have tickets and uh, they got a special on the tickets too because if you get the ticket from them, you only pay $5 at the door. So... That's cool. I, I got right. mine. I got two of mine. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be dynamite. So I'm sorry. I just had to put that out there since we were talking about Marshall Tucker. So, well, it's really cool. This, 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 this you mentioned that we, we're, we're friends with uh, Slim Chance. We, the musicians up here, many of them are really trying to. It's a, it's a thing where we try to help each other along. And uh, I uh, have a lot of friends that are playing in, in acts, and one of the reasons I stayed in New Jersey all this time is the, the great music scene that's up here. And uh, you can say what you will about the, how great it was back in the 80s, but it's still really strong right now. It's awesome. The, uh, you know, you know Asbury Park, like, uh, Tuesday nights, you got Mark Ribbler and friends, so, and, and, and uh, he brings up a lot of different people every Tuesday, and so you guys can be, you know, you're good friends with Mark, and so yeah. maybe you guys can get up there on a Tuesday and bring Melanie and uh, Mark, if you tuned in, uh, man, she's awesome. So uh, that would be a dynamite show. 
Actually, now's a good time to mention we are at Farrell's every Friday from 5.30 to 8.30 cool. for the happy hour. All it's, right, that's yeah. it. Point Pleasant Beach. Yes, Point Pleasant Beach. Mm -hmm. Where's that at on Big Point Pleasant? That's on... Uh, it's uh, on, uh, I think it's Broadway. It's right Broadway. where all the... It is uh, on Broadway. <coughs> In fact, it is on Broadway. Right behind it, where all the boats and everything are. Yeah. It's right there. Well, no, it's not. It can't be behind the boats. You'd be in the yeah. water. But... <laughs> <laughs> But it's all going to be a dyslexic moment. I'm, I'm in the water looking this way behind the boats. <laughs> yeah, Farrell's is in uh, Point Pleasant Beach. And you guys are there, what, every? Every Friday from 5.30 to 8.30. And that's cool. So yeah. get on down here, and uh, you're going to have the time of your life, some great music. And what do you want to do, one off the CD, or you want to play one? Um, do you want off the CD? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, let's do one off the CD. Uh, all right, you're the boss. <laughs> oh God. Don't make me make decisions. <laughs> Let's do Cupid because. Um, oh yeah, Cupid. That's a good one. You want to do yeah. Cupid? This is, this is one of the most popular songs that we have live, and it was, as well as the, the classic uh, cover songs that we do. The response that we get from this song is really, really good, and uh, this is one that we, uh, the three of us, wrote together. Yeah, we co-wrote the lyrics, and me and Sunny co-wrote the music. So. Oh, um, this is awesome! Yeah. All three, of you guys wrote it together. Yeah, cool. and this is the upcoming music video. All right, very good. All right. Here it is, Cupid. Mm -hmm. 